Did you know that God forgives us when we say sorry? And that we should also forgive others. I'm Buckle. And I'm Isla. And welcome to The, the Link, Link Show. Show. Hello everybody, it's so lovely to have you back with us again for another episode of The Link Show and hello to you Isla, how are you today? I'm amazing. I know you are, it's so good to have you with us and some exciting news. Guess what's happening next week on The Link Show? We are starting our Christmas series! Yay! I know, I'm so excited for Christmas, but we're not going to talk about that yet. We need to find out what's coming up today on The Link Show. First up, we're doing a special craft all about forgiving. That's right, after that we're going to be taking a look at your arts and crafts in Link Kids Inbox. I love looking at all of your craft, you are so talented. After that, we're going to be seeing the animated Bible story. And then right at the end, make sure you're paying attention because we've got today's Bible quiz. quiz. But right now, here's what's going to happen. We're going to get started doing a very special craft, which looks like this. And while we get started on that, why don't you go check out Preach Part 1. Okay, so I want to tell you a story in just a moment because today we're talking all about forgiving others because God forgave us. We're talking about the word forgiveness. We'll talk about what it means in just a second, but I want to tell you a story. I remember one time I went to the beach with my family. So this is when I was little buckle. I was young and we'd packed our bag with beach toys and with towels and with food and with drinks and we were super duper excited to go to the beach. Now, what I had done was put so much stuff in my bag that it was almost too heavy for me to carry. And so we started walking down to the beach and I'm starting to really, really struggle. It is too heavy for me to carry on my own. My dad came up to me and he said, hey Buckle, do you want me to help carry the bag for you? And I was like, no, I can do it myself. I don't need any help. And so my dad was like, okay, but if you want help, all you have to do is ask. And so everyone walked ahead and there I am right at the back, a long way away from everybody else, slowly dragging my bag across the sand because it was too heavy. I had put too many things in my bag. And eventually I was like, I can't do it. Dad, come and help me. And so my dad came over and he said, what is even in your bag? Why is it so heavy? And so we opened up my bag and we looked inside and it turns out that I had put a lot of things in there that were not needed. They're not beach toys. They're not things that I needed to take to the beach, but I put them in there anyway, even though I knew I probably shouldn't have. And it made my bag too heavy. Have you ever done that before? Maybe you've put something too heavy in your bag and it's made it really difficult to carry, maybe it was something that you didn't even need. You see, I want to talk about forgiveness because when we don't forgive other people, when we don't forgive and instead we stay angry at them, did you know it's just like putting extra things in your bag that makes it more and more and more heavy? And not a real bag, but like into your heart. You see, when we don't forgive, we can start going into things like anger and disappointment and their emotions that make us feel really, really sad. But did you know that those are not things that you need to keep in the bag of your heart? You see, forgiveness, when we say, I forgive you to somebody else, it's like opening up the bag of our heart and taking out those heavy rocks, those things that we don't need in our lives and throwing them on the ground, getting rid of them. But when we don't forgive other people, it's like putting more and more rocks into the bag of our heart and it weighs us down and it makes us feel heavy in our heart and we get sad and we get angry and it actually hurts us when we don't forgive others. And so in just a moment, we're going to look at a story of someone in the Bible who was a prophet. They were meant to always do the right thing, but instead this prophet does the wrong thing. But God forgives this prophet and then the prophet has to forgive other people as well. So we'll talk about that in just a minute.
Welcome back everybody. We have done our cool coloring. It says Jesus forgives, I can forgive too, because we're learning about forgiveness today. So I've gone with cool different multicolored dots around the outside. I've done the love heart in red, and then I've gone red and blue because they're some of my favorite colors. And I love that the Band-Aid is all about forgiveness. Even though the heart's broken, forgiveness can make it better. Isla, what have you done on yours? Well, mine's basically all purple, but I've got light and dark. With this, I've got some light pink, dark pink for the top words. Oh, I love that you've got purple for all of the spots as well. That looks so cool. You know what? I think our colorings are amazing, but I can't wait to take a look at all of your arts and crafts. Let's go check out Link Kids Inbox. Welcome back everybody. I love seeing all of your crafts every single week, but right now let's go check out today's animated Bible story. This is Jonah, one of the prophets in the Bible. And Jonah's job was to travel from place to place and tell people the message that God told him. And so one day God spoke to Jonah. He said, I want you to travel to a place called Nineveh. The people there are doing bad things. I want you to tell them to change their ways. But Jonah knew about the people in Nineveh and he didn't want to go. And so instead, he went and hopped on a boat heading the other way. Jonah tried to run away from God. But God knew where Jonah was. And so while Jonah was out at sea, God sent a big wind which caused a giant storm. The boat was rocking left and right. The waves were getting bigger and bigger and the sailors on the boat were terrified. The storm was so big that it seemed like the boat would sink. The sailors started grabbing anything they could, boxes and barrels and throwing them into the ocean, trying to make the boat lighter. But while this was all happening, Jonah was fast asleep inside the boat. The captain came to him and said, how can you sleep at a time like this? Pray to your God that he would save us. But soon after, the sailors realized that Jonah was the reason for the storm. Jonah told them that he worshiped the one true God, the God that created the land and the sea, and that the only way to stop the storm was to throw Jonah into the ocean. But the sailors didn't want to do it. And so they kept trying to save the boat themselves until eventually they realized they had no choice. They asked God for forgiveness and threw Jonah into the ocean. And immediately the storm stopped. But God didn't forget Jonah. God sent a giant fish which swallowed Jonah whole. For three days and for three nights, Jonah, inside the belly of the fish, prayed to God for forgiveness. So God caused the fish to spit Jonah out onto the beach. And again, God spoke to Jonah, go to Nineveh, tell the people to change their ways. And this time Jonah obeyed. He traveled to Nineveh and told the people that the way they were living was making God sad. And so the people hearing God's message through Jonah changed their ways and started following God. This story of a guy named Jonah. You see, the Bible tells us that Jonah did not like the Ninevites, the people who lived in Nineveh. He didn't like them at all. He did not want to forgive them for doing the wrong thing. He put rocks in his heart. And so he got angry and he got upset and it actually hurt Jonah because he didn't forgive other people. And he gets on a boat and he tries to go the other way to run away from God. But instead of God getting angry at Jonah, I love that God forgives Jonah. Jonah can see that, okay, now I've done the wrong thing. God, please forgive me. And then God forgives him. And I think that Jonah might have realized, wow, if God is willing to forgive me, then I should probably forgive 
others. You see, in the Bible, Jesus actually taught his disciples how to pray. And one of the things in the prayer, one of the things that God tells us to pray about is this. God, forgive me because I will forgive others. You see, forgiveness is a way that God wants us to live. Now, that doesn't mean that we have to trust people if they hurt us. Like if somebody hurts you, it's okay to be careful and to not put yourself around that person so that they don't hurt you again. That's totally fine. But when we don't forgive, we are putting those rocks in our heart that make us heavy. It hurts us. But when we forgive others, even if they don't ask for forgiveness, when we forgive, we take the rocks out of our heart and that we can live happy and joyful no matter what happens. And so this is the big point. This is what I want us to say together today. God forgave me, so I should forgive others. We're going to say it together on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. God forgave me, so I should forgive others others. Why don't we say that one more time together? Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. God forgives me so I should forgive others. Welcome back. You know what it's time for. It's time for the Bible quiz. I hope you were paying attention. The way this is going to work is I'm going to ask you a question. It's going to have two possible answers. If you think the first answer is correct, put your hands on your head. If you think the second answer is correct, put your hands on your shoulders. Your teacher's going to be watching to see if you can get five out of five. Here we go with question number one. In today's story, what was the name of the prophet? Was it Jonah or was it Josiah? You've got five seconds. Isla, what's the answer? That's all right, the answer is Jonah. That was a good guess. You gotta make sure you're paying attention. Here we go with question number two. There was somewhere that God wanted Jonah to go. Was that place Brisbane or was it Nineveh? You've got five seconds. Isla, what do you think the answer is? Nineveh. Nineveh, that's right. Good job. Here we go with question number three. Jonah really didn't want to go to Nineveh, and so he hopped on something to go the other way. Did he get on a boat or did he get on a helicopter? You've got five seconds. Isla, what do you think the answer is? A boat. There were no helicopters in the Bible. Here we go with question number four. What happened to Jonah when he got thrown into the water? Was he swallowed by a giant fish or was he swallowed by a giant octopus? You've got five seconds. Isla, what do you think the answer is? Giant fish. A giant fish, that's right. Oh, I wonder if everyone's got four out of four so far. Hopefully you get the last one right, because here we go with question number five. How many days was Jonah in the fish? Was he in the fish for three days or was he in the fish for six days? You've got five seconds. What do you think the answer is? Three days. Three days, that's right. If you got five out of five, give yourselves a pat on the back. I love that we learned today that even when we do the wrong thing, if we say sorry, God forgives us. And that we should also learn to forgive others too. That's right, I'm Buckle. And I'm Isla. And we'll see you next week on The, the Link, Link Show. Show. Bye. Bye.